Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Herald of the Sun Hero of Talent Tree for the Paladins. What it means, is it going to be good, is it going to save the Holy Paladin class? And although I'm a little bit late to the party, I think uh, my perspective is going to be interesting at least to some of you. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to say is obviously this looks much better than the Lightsmith. We're not even going to look into the Lightsmith in this video. And the main thing that kind of draws my attention is that the whole fantasy behind this hero tree is actually amazing. You are basically a holy paladin. Of course, it applies to retribution paladins as well. But you are using the light to heal your allies to do damage. And now you're just leaving those sun spots on your targets, which are those uh, pulsing wounds that either heal or do damage. And then you become the avatar of the sun. You connect with beams to those sun spots and you start doing even more damage and healing. So all of that vibes really, really nice with the Holy Paladin. And I'm really liking this fantasy. So I, I hope that they can make this uh, hero talent tree work. And now, uh, whether or not this is going to happen, let's go and look into some of the talent. So the first one is Sunspot. After you cast Holy Prism, that makes your next two Holy Power spending abilities to create a Sunspot on your target, dealing Radiant Damage or healing over 8 seconds. And 10% of the Sunspot Damage and Healing radiates to nearby allies. Now, as you can see, and this is actually true for the whole tree, we don't see many numbers here. We know what they're going to do, but we don't know how effective they're going to be. So the tuning on this is going to be crucial because... Uh, depending on how good the sunspots are and how good um, Eternal Flame is, which I'm going to get to in a second, uh, this is going to make this Hero 3 either work or be complete garbage. So until we see more, until we have PTR to actually see some numbers, uh, we're just speculating, but this is the idea. You'll be creating these sunspots every time you use Holy Prison, which also means that Light's Hammer is basically not going to be used in this build. It's a Wake of Ashes for Retribution Paladins. Now, the other interesting part is the Eternal Flame, which replaces Word of Glory. It still costs three uh, healing power, uh, three holy power, and it heals an ally immediately and leaves a halt that uh, takes for twenty seconds. Uh, healing is increased by twenty five percent when cast on uh, self. Now, this also uh, is very very dependent on um, tuning because right now Word of Glory is bad. It just doesn't heal for enough and uh, it's uh, one of the things that the Holy Paladin is lacking. So if they take the current Word of Glory, they let's say split it in two and the initial heal is half of it and then the hot effect is the other half, this is going to make it even worse and nobody's gonna play this. But if they buff the word of glory and they make it more powerful so maybe it heals for more and then there's the hot effect then this could probably even make it overpowered again depending on the tuning so uh again un un until we see some numbers we're just speculating but uh this kind of looks uh, okay so far assuming that the, the tuning is not going to be complete crap all right next uh, uh critical strikes uh, from holy shock and light of dawn are increased by 10 percent that's great and that ties to the next uh, two talents holy shock and light of dawn critical strikes cause the target to burn for additional radiant damage over uh four seconds or healing over four seconds and again uh, we don't know what those numbers are but uh obviously you'll be stacking a lot of critical strike and your critical uh hits will cause even more damage or healing and uh, Holy Shock and Light of Dawn have a 50% chance to cast again at 30% effectiveness. Uh, that actually sounds pretty cool because obviously you're casting Holy Shock a lot. And uh, it remains like there's some questions open here whether or not Holy Shock is going to those um, less effectiveness casts. Are they going to like Trimmer Glimmer of Light and work with all of your other talents? But this sounds pretty cool so far. So um, all the synergy here with the critical strike, etc. Um, this is just some good addition, passive addition, of course, to the Paladin tree. Now uh, let's go on this side next. Um, every five seconds, your sunspot becomes more powerful, or your sunspots, while they're active, your holy power spenders deal ten percent additional damage. Now um, I think that gleaming race is going to be the play here all the time, but. You know, I don't know. Depends uh, again on the uh, scaling and the damage of the sunspot itself. But having your holy power spenders being ten percent more effective, this is going to help Board of Glory, which is not powerful uh, enough right now, or Eternal Flame. So 
this sounds like a good complement to everything else that uh, this tree has. Uh, then we have another node with the choice. Sunspot reduce the movement speed of uh, enemies by 20% or increase the movement speed of allies by 20%. That means that you press your Holy Prison, you heal somebody with Eternal Flame, for example, and they get 20% increased speed for 8 seconds or uh, even 10 seconds because you can increase the duration of uh, the Sunspot. So that sounds pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, it could have some very good implementations. Or you can just pick, pick movement speed increased by 5% while you're above 80% health, which is a self buff. Um, and then uh, while your hit is below 35%, you get a boost of speed uh, that can only occur once uh, every 60 seconds. So that's a, that's an interesting note. Uh, it doesn't have big impact, but it has some interesting implications. So nothing uh, more to say. And then after you cast Holy Prison, you gain Divine Purpose, which makes your next Holy Spender uh, basically free. Um, so that actually vibes pretty well with everything else, uh, as I said so far. And uh, you have another node uh, with the choice here. Since spot duration is increased by 2 seconds and the halt of the Eternal Flame is increased by 3 seconds, which is already 20, so it's going to become 23. That's uh, quite long. Or you can use the Sunspots, uh, Sunspots leave Eternal Flame for 12 seconds on allies or greaten judgment on enemies when they expire or are uh, extended. Um, so you can either pick uh, to, to increase their duration or you can put a halt uh, or judgment on your uh, targets if uh, the uh, Sunspot expires or it's a little bit longer. So both of this will probably have some implication. And then you have your haste is increased by 4% for 12 seconds. Each time you apply a sunspot, multiple stacks may overlap. So you're just getting free haste. You're getting free divine purposes. Uh, you're getting crit. Uh, all of this uh, vibes pretty well with the whole three. And then we get to the last note, which is the sun's avatar. During Avenging Rat, you become linked to your sunspots, causing radiant damage to enemies or healing to allies that pass through the beams reduced by beyond 5 targets. Uh, and then activating Avenging Rat applies for uh, sunspots onto nearby allies or enemies and increases sunspot damage and healing by 20%. Now, this is actually very interesting. So, you get free sunspots once you activate your wings. Um, and uh, it's not clear how it's going to pick between enemies and allies, because uh, let's say you have Divine Toe that you can use on both, but Divine Toe, you have a primary target that uh, decides whether you're going to be casting more healing or damaging spells. Uh, here, it's not clear how the, the selection is going to be done, because you just press your button, right, and uh, the wings pop, so the sun spots need to apply immediately. Uh, but then the first part is also interesting, because it says that uh, passing through the beams um is is going to trigger the um radiant damage or healing so you might end up being in a very fun situation that you get connected to those sunspots and uh, it's also a question of whether only the first target that passed through the beam get this effect or if you like keep wiggling back and forth and they keep passing through the beams you trigger it more uh, then once you pop your wings you have to be like jumping and moving around uh, as fast as possible so you can uh, trigger more of these uh, that would be interesting, but uh, again, uh, the whole the whole tree, the whole talent selection here vibes pretty well with Holy Paladin. And I'm really looking forward to test this because it sounds pretty cool on paper, but if the tuning is bad, it's just not going to be uh, it's just not going to be viable depending on uh, what's the damage of the sun spots, what's the uh, eternal flame, etc. Uh, but overall, it's one of the the good um, talent selection trees, one of the good things that we've seen so far compared to especially some of the uh, other classes and i think that this could definitely make the holy power in better it needs some bumps uh, along the way because it, it doesn't feel really nice right now it actually feels awful to heal on holy paladin and this is going to be one of the savior graces hopefully once uh, we get to alpha and potentially uh pre-patch for the next uh, expansion but yeah do let me know what you guys think about the uh, herald of the sun uh, i'm really excited to see it coming up but maybe uh you have your own opinion maybe you want to see something else or maybe you like uh, what you see so far here anyways thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video now get out of here